Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture. Now, I would like to discuss about the Barton's fracture. So, what is Barton's fracture? Barton's fracture is intra articular fracture of distal radius. So, here there is intra articular fracture intra articular fracture of distal radius okay here the fracture extends from the articular surface of the radius to either this is the articular surface of the radius so it extends from arterial sur articular surface of the radius to either proximal part or to the distal part distal cortices the, so the so the fracture it starts from the articular surface and then it extends either forward to the anterior cortices or backward to the posterior cortices sometimes even small displacements distal displacements can, sorry even small distal fragments can get displaced so here the displacements so first the fractures are of two types anterior and posterior as i have said when this fragment which is there that uh, starts in the distal segment sorry it starts in the articular surface and it goes anteriorly to the anterior articular sorry to the anterior cortex uh, and anterior cortex then this is called as anterior type of fracture if the okay uh, if this is the lower end of the distal end of the radius now if the fracture starts from the articular surface and if it goes posteriorly okay like this then it is called as posterior fracture okay so the barton's fracture can be anterior or posterior now this barton's fracture can also get displaced okay there can be displacement of this fracture if it displaces anteriorly if you see if the barton's fracture this can be there can be displacement also if this barton's fracture if it displaces anteriorly then we call it as volar barton's fracture if it displaces posteriorly we call it as dorsal barton fracture now how are you going to treat this barton's fracture the treatment is first you will do closed manipulation and you will put a plaster cast okay if this fails then you will do open reduction and internal fixation normally if there is no displacement or if there is displacement also you'll try to do some manipulation and you'll try to just put a plaster cast even then if it does not succeed then you will have to do open reduction and internal fixation this is about barton's fracture thank you for watching my lecture